Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbsane. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. As you can see, a little bit of a different setup. I'm just doing the um, Cloudwater and Finback uh, live tasting on the um, Cloudwater's channel. They do the, uh, a weekly um, live kind of like um, tasting with a different brewery. This time it was Finback. And one of the uh, beers I've been drinking tonight, it's already open, is Oscillation. Uh, I can't find the can, the ABV. I think it's 8 points. I'm sure it's like 8.6 or something like that. Can't see it on the can anyway. So it's like a... a um, as far as the um, the concept goes, it's a, a constantly changing kind of like um, hop uh, regime, I think. So if, from what I could make out, okay, I've been having a couple, I've had a couple of beers tonight. <laughs> if you're going to be honest, this is because this is already open. I've already had some. It was about an hour ago. It's been back in the fridge. Um, from understand what Anthony said, this is using Belma. Uh, big rating on untap this one. I'm going to pour the rest of this out. Now, I had a little, I had like a, maybe a third of a can early on so far. Because they skip through those beers pretty quick. So, yeah, I don't see anywhere on the can anyway. Um, duh, duh, duh. So it happened before and it'll happen again. Uh, Sensical uh, Multiple Infinite. This is a series of IPAs vibrating over and over and over again. Each one different, each one the same. Yeah, no, it doesn't say the ABV, which is weird. There you go, there's, that's where it is. So, bit of a glass. I mean, as you can see, uh, pale but very hazy. That's thin back for you, I mean, bring the haze. Um, not much of a head. Just going to agitate and give it a bit more, yeah. Okay. Rouse is a pure white kind of like film on the top, so aroma wise, let's see what's going on. Ooh, mama. I mean, okay, I've been through this a little bit, but I'm going back to it. First thing I thought, as far as aroma, and flavour. Big thing that goes to me is raspberry ripple. It's got that kind of like but I'll, you definitely get kind of bubblegum and stewed peaches. Skin skins of plums. Plum skin. I, I'm not a big plum eater but my, my little boy likes, likes plums. So I know what that's like. And a bit of grape going on. I think it's just Belma. I don't think, actually, maybe it's not single hop, but Belma seems to, must have played a big role in it because that's what Anthony kind of like meant, uh, mentioned on the um, live thing. It smells great. It's, got, it's, 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 it is dank, but it is very berry forward. Yeah, it's good beer. Mm, yeah, it's kind of berries and dankness. I think that's a big thing. That rules the show for me anyway. Let's dive in. Cheers. Don't spill it on your laptop, Rob. It's a work laptop. Mm. Look at me. I'm being that. Oh, it's good shit. It's good beer. So, flavour wise, yeah, slightly menthol, slightly gr black grape like, uh, blueberry, raspberry. And I said raspberry ripple when I uh, when I first had it because it's got that. I don't know. It was probably it does have lactose in it. Um, it's got a softness to it. I think Finback are massively overlooked in the kind of these these are the day and age where everybody's still kind of banging on about other half. I think their 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 friends over in Queens, uh, the King of Queens, Action Bronson all the way from Flushing, and uh, <laughs> it's completely by chance. This is says straightening out, so you can see Action Bronson on my tit. Um, <laughs> um, I think it's a really good beer. I mean, I think they're massively overlooked. I think they're making beers as good as the other half. Mm. Often find a little bit more balance. Yeah, there's a edging towards kind of garden mint. Yeah, and, and yeah, dank, but never going overtly sweet, never going overtly cloying, balanced, which is a really a real achievement for a beer of this type. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, crazy drinkable. It kept, it's a perfect balance of kind of like sweet berry and, and dankness. I think it's a really nice beer. So that is Oscillation 20. Um, from other half, ABV, undetermined, but I'm sure it's like 8.6, something like that. 
it was really ludicrously uh, drinkable at its um and at the time when I cracked this one during the live tasting hence the laptop because I've been sat here all night answer watching um, Paul and um, and Anthony from uh, Finback um, tell walk us through these beers it's been a really fun night uh, if you if you get the opportunity to do um, one of the Cloud Waters online tasting I fully um, recommend it I mean I, I first time I've done it this week and I really enjoyed it um, it's a fun couple of a uh, couple of hours of your life and you get to drink some kick-ass beers as well so I'm Rob from Hopzine see you next time Cheers.